Goddamn bathtub gin. Man's fiance leaves him for another bloke. The least you could think is that maybe he could possibly get some decent liquor. Sam Joel, expert salesman. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Look at me. I can't afford a ring. Oh, but Jack. Oh, Jack, yeah. He can afford to put a ring on every single one of her fingers. I get some top shelf, my friend. Everybody's got debts, you know? Mine might be bigger than others, but Annie wasn't that kind of girl. Maybe you talk too much, kid. At least I don't think she was that kind of girl. You'll find that people are rarely who they seem to be. What does your girl leave you to? Oh, I know a lot about heartbreak. Like how it burns inside your guts like gunfire. Your hands get cold. Your throat scratchy like your daddy's old records. You close your eyes and you see her touching his cheek as he picks her up in that fancy new car. And she's wearing that dress that you bought her. I wonder, will he kiss the inside of her wrist? Will he make her- Stop! I hope Jack crashes that expensive new car of his. I hope he drives it off a cliff. I hope they rot in hell forever. And that can be arranged. Excuse me. I just need a signature. A signature? Blood. What? Ink's not good enough for you? <laughs> I just need something a little bit more uh, personal, so. No, I don't think I caught your name, sir. You don't recognize me? A church-going pastor's son like you, Sam? Or is it Charlie? You're not going by Clarence again, are you? That name does not suit you. And neither does the honest life, it seems. You're good for one thing and one thing only, sweetheart. And that's running away from the people you owe money to. Well, your services aren't required, thanks. Why not? Drinker, gambler, card shop, murderer. It's always mine in the end, Sam, and we both know it. So why not get something out of the bargain, hmm? It's only fair. Just a signature. Cross my heart. Almost there. Barman! Another drink for my friend, please.
<laughs> Morning, sunshine. Been waiting a long time for this. Russell. Samuel? I expected you years ago. Lost your trail around Louisiana, but I never stopped looking. I used to lie in bed at night, terrified someone was going to find you before I could. Look, it was self-defense, Russell. Your brother had a knife. You stole his girl, and then you killed him. Now it's my turn. <laughs> 